So I started by getting a nice side view reference of a nice uh, dragonfly. Then I imported it into Blender and I just took a basic cube, put a subdivision surface modifier on it and just extrude the cube and put some loop cuts on it to get the basic shape of the dragonfly right. I did this with all the body parts, with the eyes and the legs, and it's basically just a cube, the same process extruded out with the subdivision surface modifier. So when I was done modeling the basic outline, like basically one side, I took a big cube and I just used it with a boolean modifier to cut the model in half so I could later um, mirror the model to make it the same, the same shape on both sides, so it's like perfectly mirrored. So then I went on and created the wings. I just took another reference photo. This was actually the reference photo I later used for the actual texture for the wing. So I imported the texture, or I think basically the image, into the into Blender. And yeah, I just basically modeled the outline of the wings from the picture. I didn't connect the wings to the model yet, because I was later going to sculpt the, the basic mesh. And I figured I don't need to sculpt the wings since the wings are basically flat. So I don't, I, I didn't connect the wings to the actual model. I would later do that after the after the actual retopology, which I'm going to show you later, and then connect the wings to the model that was already done with retopology and all that. And then I went on to sculpting. So I took a bunch of reference photos. I actually have a second program that I use for the reference uh, images. I can maybe post a link in the description. Um, so really get a bunch of reference photos and really sculpt all the details in that I could see on the reference pictures. When I was done sculpting, I went on to retopology. I had a basic simple uh, retopology setup. And yeah, I just went over the whole mesh. I made sure that I got some detail on with the retopology, but not too much since we want to keep the poly count as low as possible, like just have a feeling for it. With retopologies, it's a lot about feeling and um, getting the flow of the mesh right. I made sure that I left holes in the retopology mesh so I could later connect it to the wings that I left out from the sculpting process. And also counting the actual vertices that um, are necessary to uh, properly connect it to the wings. So I just counted them and did the retopology so it would be easily connectable. So yeah, as I said, um, when I was done retopologizing the mesh, I went on to connecting the wings to the retopology mesh. Then I went on to UV unwrapping the mesh. Just a quick little tip. Um, I overlaid all the UVs from the wings because they would eventually have uh, the same textures anyway, so I could as well stack them up so I don't need to do the textures for every wing part over and over. So then I went on baking the normal map from the scalp mesh onto the retopology mesh. This way I could preserve the actual detail from the sculpted mesh onto the final mesh, which is a pretty nice technique. Then I started working on the shading setup. 
on the node setup. I already made the texture for the wings, so I just connected it with the basic mask um, so that the wings were already like kind of textured. And yeah, then the whole shading process started. Um, I used some external programs like Materialize to bake or like create the basic um, textures, the maps, and, and yeah, it was a lot of tweaking and fiddling around. Um, the only major part I did in Blender then was to paint the diffuse map, so the color. I picked a bunch of colors from the photo reference and I just blended them and just made sure that I got the basic color from the photo reference right. Then I later tweaked the colors further to make them less um, contrasty, to, to make them less um, punchy, so it looks like a little bit more a little bit more subtle. So then I went on creating the hair particle system. I did a bunch of weight painting to tell the particle system where the hair should appear. Then I later created another weight map to tell the particle system where the hair should be long, where it should be short. And yeah, then the model was basically done. Um, then I went on obviously creating the armature system. Um, this really took a long time and it can be really complicated in some places. Um, I'm just gonna leave you with the footage and also you can find some really cool tutorials here on YouTube on how to create those armature systems. So yeah, that was my workflow on how I created this character and also a bunch of other characters. So yeah, if you like, you can subscribe to my channel if you like my content. Also consider uh, supporting me on Patreon so I can put out a bunch more videos like this.